Now let's move into our three favorite areas that we love to see these sort of century homes. Let's say areas slash streets mm-hmm. that we like. Uh, number one, you want to kick us off? Okay, I'm going to leave you with your favorite. So I'm going to do Ravencliff in the Aberdeen area. That's my favorite. Is that Which one's favorite? my favorite? I thought... We'll get to it on okay, the list and yeah. see. <laughs> Anyways, I found this really cool because I've lived in that area for a while. Um, and there is a beautiful... So 26 Ravencliff, if you're familiar with that at all, it's this castle in the middle of the subdivision and it just, it's mind blowing. You drive up to it and the streets part around it. Um, This house was designed from like a Scottish architecture and it really influenced the neighborhood around it from Sir John Morrison. Uh, I just... I think the architecture there is really mind-blowing. Yeah, it's a cool little street. runs up in like a little court around it. And then there's a street that runs behind it that's really cool, like Inglewood. I have a good friend that lives on that street. And just if you guys have never been to these streets, Mm -hmm. do yourself a favor one day if you're in the area and just drive through them. You see a lot of beautiful houses. It's pure Pinterest worthy. Yeah, (laughs) and even that side of Aberdeen. I mean, all of Aberdeen has nice houses. A lot of them have unfortunately been converted into multi-unit homes. But when you get to this part of Aberdeen Mm -hmm. near Ravenscliff, it gets really nice. Like you get some really beautiful homes and even the south side of uh, Queen Street has some nice ones. Like there was one, uh, I was looking it up earlier on Queen Street, right when you come down the escarpment, it's like a 20 bedroom, nine bathroom mansion, like just beautiful homes. So that's a cool area to drive around. Um, let's what other street do we like so another one if you're going to be in that area you want to head over to westdale if you've never heard of oak knoll you're welcome because you just found out about it (laughs) (laughs) it is a super cool street yeah um yeah it circles mcmaster and uh circle it's kind of like yeah it's tucked away behind it you're not really in with the students that's the cool thing about this street is it's not i mean there's student areas around it but this is tucked on a street that runs along uh it backs onto the conservation there. It's slipping my mind right now what that's called. I know. I'm slipping it too. But that conservation is all preserved. So yeah. like no one will ever build behind you and you're in the trees and the cliffs and it's just stunning. Yeah. That's always how it goes. You know the name of it till you have to say I it. I know. <laughs> and then, uh, so that street is really cool. If you take a drive down this street, the homes are incredibly maintained. You get a lot of professionals, physicians, yeah. doctors, that sort of thing. People with a lot of pride of ownership. And they're spectacular homes. Spectacular. I actually only found out about this because... When I first started in real estate, I had a realtor that said to me, he had a client looking specifically on this street. If really? you want to go door knock it. And yeah. I was like, what is this? Okay, whatever. And I drove and I walked, got, went to the street. And I was like, holy, holy this moly. is beautiful. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's a cool street. Check that one out if you're in the West End. Um, and then let's shift over to something a little more central. East End. I would be surprised if you haven't heard of this street before. I thought We've, this was your favorite. We mentioned it previously. <laughs> you know what? To me, this is one of the most iconic streets in Hamilton. Yeah. St. Clair Boulevard. If you haven't heard of it, take a drive down it or park your car and just walk along it. It is beautiful. The homes there are gorgeous. There's a lot of Hamilton, uh, what would you call them? I don't know, famous people. Not famous, just historically important people. Well, if you, did, if you didn't street. know to turn off of Main Street, because it's past downtown, um, you wouldn't just stumble upon this neighborhood. So it's a nice little hidden patch in Hamilton that's right below the escarpment. And I, yeah. It's so beautiful. Major intersection would be Sherman South and uh, Main Street. So Sherman Avenue South, that would be your main intersection to go by there. Mm-hmm. And we actually have a listing coming up on there. We got to promote it, of course. It will be live. <laughs> It should be live by the time this video airs. If yes. not, it'll be live within a day or two of yeah. this video airing. But the house that we are selling was actually the home of John C. Monroe, who the airport is named after, in case you didn't know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty cool that you could live in somebody's house that was kind of iconic like that. Um, and that's just one thing that I love about that street because there was actually McMaster University, some student there, or some group there did a study on this street. And I have the whole report. It's, uh, it's a couple hundred pages. If you want this report, let me know. I, I can send it over. But it has a list of all the people that lived in that street. It has, you know, who built some of the houses, some of the architects. It's a really cool report. Yeah. But this is a, this is an awesome tree. I guess, you know what? Yeah, maybe this is my first one. Yeah. I, I think, think Ravenscliff so. <laughs> gets me starstruck because it's just a giant cast Fair in enough. the middle of it. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. But it, yeah. isn't this neighborhood, it likes to be featured. Someone reached out to you from um, the newspaper? Uh, well, no, there's a, there's somebody from the spec that writes articles on like these historic homes. So yeah. when I got this listing, I reached out to her oh, just okay. to see if she'd be doing a feature on it. So yeah, you know, I'd be cool. getting featured in the spec on it, which yeah. would be pretty cool. 
But what are your favorite streets? Are we missing a street that you can think of that we're not thinking of that you think is really cool? Maybe we'll take a drive down it if we uh, if we haven't. I feel like I've driven down a lot of those streets. Yeah. When it's just my spare time yeah. with a donut and a coffee. But yeah, what are some of your favorite streets in Hamilton that have these historical homes? Are there specific houses that you love? We'd love to hear about it. So drop a comment below. Breaking down.